Daniel, this is such a great show. I truly love it. What oh, was it about? Much. What was it about getting the script and being in reading it and just diving into this material? Well, I knew the original source material, um, American Born Chinese, the graphic novel from um, when my nephews were studying it in school and I happened to see it on their desk. So I was pretty familiar with the story. I just never kind of imagined it being brought to the big screen. So when I heard that it was going to be done, I was very excited, but I was also very curious on how to um, make the adaptation because the book is interesting. There's three different storylines. They're almost like not really connected at all in any way, but they still inform um, the the reader about what it's like to be you know Asian American growing up in America and trying to fit in, and um, once I read the adaptation, I was like, this is brilliant. Like the way Kelvin Yu was able to integrate those three storylines and then adjust some of them, especially like with Ki Kwan's character and what that character evolved through, um, was really amazing. Because in the book, it's a very kind of cringy um, stereotype, gross stereotype character that we as Asian Americans had to face growing up, um, but in this story, you get to see that character played by Ki Kwan and the actor that plays him deal with the complexities of playing a problematic character throughout your career and what that means to uh, you know the greater community when you do something like that. And I thought that was really insightful. But I also really liked how Calvin also amplified the 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 aspect of family in the story. And I think that's what really makes the whole thing work. And that this is a universal story about growing up an identity and how your family and how your family identity is part of that process and how you have to embrace certain things and you might be embarrassed about this and that but it's part of you and part of your culture and you have to be bold and proud about it and so i think those aspects of it i think made it really a great adaptation and made me really excited to want to do this because i'd never really kind of seen this done on screen before yeah and sun wukong is such a great character i mm. love the action sequences i love the the way he just, the way his story is being told is just so great. What was it about getting into these action scenes, really showing a different type of style that we really haven't seen on television before? Yeah, I was really excited about it because whenever I get a chance to be able to display like Chinese style action on American screens, it's really exciting for me. I had a great time doing Into the Badlands for all those seasons and really bringing that kind of dynamic action um, to 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 the screen for American audiences to consume, right? Um, it's so different than Western style action. And so part of that is, you know, the dynamic wire work and the choreography, but also part of it is, is how it's edited and how it's shot and how the camera is really a participant in the fight. And that's what makes it so dynamic, right? And so for audiences to get this really cool story about, you know, this Asian American identity and this upbringing in, in, in American society and trying to fit in, they also get to see really cool awesome um, action that happens on screen and and the melding of all the cultures to make this one cohesive thing that is uniquely American, but also uniquely Asian American at the same time is a really cool um, thing to happen. Yeah. And Daniel, I'll have to ask this question. Growing up in the San Gabriel Valley, mm -hmm. in Rosemead, we have a huge Asian community. How do you what can you tell the San Gabriel Valley community about and the communities around the country of why to watch this and how important it is to watch the show. Well, I think this is great because it's, you know, we're seeing so much diversity and change happening in Hollywood. And we're finally seeing stories that reflect our life growing up because I didn't have that growing up. You know, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of, you know, Asian American kids felt like they were invisible or not seen on screen. And so to be able to tell a story like this that is authentic to our upbringing and some of the moments in in the, in the show are just so poignant because like everybody who's grown up Asian American has felt those things, or even just anybody who's grown up the son or daughter of immigrant kids, I mean, parents, um, has felt that awkwardness of, of trying to fit into the mainstream. Well, what do you assimilate? What do you don't? What do you embrace? What do you don't? You know, all that is, is, is a hard thing to balance while you're also dealing with hormones and teenage life and all that stuff, right? And so to be able to bring that out there and show that this is a universal thing, we all go through this, um, is probably the most like enriching thing about it to me. Yeah, Daniel, thank you so much. That's my time. You did an amazing job. Awesome, thank you so much.